Fully Auto 5 Part Hematology Analyzer Installation Guide. Warm Tips 1. The analyzer must be properly earthed, otherwise, personal injury and inaccurate analysis results may result. 2. The use of a plug extension may cause electromagnetic interference, which may affect the accuracy of the analyzer's results. Please avoid using a plug by placing the analyzer near a socket. If use of a plug is unavoidable, then the plug must also be properly earthed. Unpacking and Inspection Please check that the outer packaging is intact when you receive the instrument. If the outer packaging is upside down or deformed, there are obvious signs of wet water, obvious signs of impact, signs of having been opened. In any of the above cases, please contact the manufacturer or your local distributor immediately. Unpack the outer packaging and check the accessories against the packing list inside the packaging. If you find any missing or incorrect parts, please contact the manufacturer or your local distributor immediately. Product installation. Find the Allen key from the accessories. Remove the three screws on the right-hand side at the back of the instrument. And then remove the right side face shell. Cut and remove the tie at the sampling assembly and remove the sticker attached to the counter box assembly. Then attach the right side of the face shell and drive in three screws. Open the small door on the left side of the apparatus and remove the bag in which the two adapter tube assemblies are packed. Place the diff labeled adapter tube assembly into the diff reagent bottle. Place the LH labeled adapter tube assembly into the LH reagent bottle. Put the reagent bottle into the apparatus and close the small door. Find the diluent transfer tube assembly and the waste transfer tube assembly from the accessories. Connect one end of the connector to the corresponding connector on the back of the instrument according to the color and label of the connector and place the other end into the soft bucket of diluent and the waste bucket, respectively. Locate the power cable from the accessories and plug it into the analyzer. Turn on the power switch from the power socket at the back of the analyzer. The instrument starts and automatically performs a self-test. After passing the self-test, the instrument will automatically perform a blank test. Turn on the instrument and enter the login screen, login as administrator, enter admin for the username and 123456 for the password to enter the main analyzer interface. If there is a problem with the instrument, there will be an alarm in the bottom right corner. Click on reagent management. The reagent items will appear in the interface. Click on the blank space under replace. Wait until square root is displayed, then click on replace to replace the reagent. After the reagent is replaced, the new opening time and expiry time will be displayed. Product Status Confirmation Click on Main Menu, Status Voltage and Current in the Sample Analysis screen. Check whether the measured voltage is within the range. If out of range, the corresponding item is displayed in red. Click on Main Menu, Status, Temperature, and Pressure in the Sample Analysis screen. Check that the temperature and pressure are within the range. If out of range, the corresponding item will be displayed in red in the background. Background Testing In the Sample Analysis screen, select Whole Blood CBC plus DIF as the mode, press the Sample button to perform the background test, check if the test results meet the requirements. Repeatability Testing In the Sample Analysis screen, select Whole Blood Mode. Take the blood according to the test range in the table below. Press the Sample button to perform the test 10 times. When the test is complete, select the list to review. Select the 10 sets of data you have just tested in the list. Click on Trend Graph. Check that the CV values in the graph are within the required range in the table below. 
Click on the arrows to the right to see more items. Determine if the repeatability is within the required range. Similarly, in the sample analysis interface, select pre-dilution mode. Place an empty, clean sample tube under the sampling needle. Click on add dilution to inject diluent. Press the sampling button to inject a total of 1800 ol of diluent. Click cancel and the analyzer automatically clears the sample probe and returns to the analysis screen. Select a fresh blood sample according to the range in the table below. Add 200 ol of blood to the test tube and mix well with the diluent. Press the sample button to perform the test 10 times. When the test is complete, select the list to review. Select the 10 sets of data you have just tested in the list. Click on Trend Graph to see if the repeatability is as required.